Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. Please look down at your feet. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting a challenge will show something about your character. That's right, people! Hello everyone, I'm Leader Luxnape. Are you ready for more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy? Sounding rather western. Anyway, if you stop here for a minute, you'll see that I have 67 power stars. I finished the last part with 66. That is because I decided to do something different than just pointing out all the ripoffs in the engine room dome. Uh, just give me a second, I need to up the volume on my TV. Alright, there we go. Um. So, I completed the last level of the game already. Don't worry. Once we get those last 53 stars, we'll have to complete it again to unlock this mysterious another world, as I'm speaking of. So, you will still get to see me fail completely at the last boss. Which is rather obviously bad. Okay. Because, when you beat the game, you unlock... Second. Right there. A purple comet icon. So, we're going to go back to the first galaxy we've ever discovered besides Gateway Galaxy. And see what these purple comets are about. I'd rather, since every major galaxy, five stars, here, now see the six stars, another comet. Purple Comet in orbit. Every major galaxy besides Battle Rock and Dusty Dune has six. Those two have seven. So instead of just beating the game once I've gotten every star that's not a Purple Comet, to that Purple Comet, I would then just keep going around doing the Purple Coin missions. Purple Comet. Um, purple Coin is what the Purple Comet is about in every galaxy as a post-game. That's gonna get boring, me just doing Purple Comet missions over and over again. So, I'm just gonna alternate between doing a new mission in the engine room and a Purple Coin mission in an old galaxy. So, good egg galaxy, Purple Coin Omelette! As you can see, there's, well, Purple Coins. And there's several times, several times, I can't talk now that I haven't recorded for a couple weeks. Several kinds of purple comet, uh, purple coin missions. I don't like saying purple comet, purple coin rolls off the tongue better. Basically, to get a star, you need to get 100 purple coins. So, there's this kind where you're just going around previously explored planets in the galaxy, collecting purple coins. And once you get all 100, all 100, not all 100, it's a bad grammar, the star will just appear somewhere in the galaxy, most likely at the beginning. But there's also several other ones. There's two that are on rails, and there's also timed purple coin missions. Some of those require you to go through a specific path where the purple coins are just on the path and the challenge is just to get all the coins in time, or get to the goal in time. And others, they give you about 150 purple coins. Uh, one of those missions has 149 instead of 150, no major difference there. And you have to collect 100 out of those and go back to get the star in what is usually an obscenely short time limit. Some of the purple coin missions that have are like this. This is kind of short because it's a introduction to the whole purple coin mechanic. Some of 
So, yeah. As you can see, most of the coins are from the launch stars. Like this. If you go around like I did, the star will appear right on the planet you landed. Um, so, other missions like this, I'll just speed up and play the galaxies the music like I do in the background whenever I speed up. Just to save time in the videos and so you don't see me running around herping with purple coins all the time. I believe, um, Beach Bowls, Dusty Dunes, and Freeze Flame tie for the most evil purple coin missions in the game. So, as you just saw, it said Galaxy Complete. After we collected the five stars in the original Time and Good Egg, we didn't finish the galaxy. So, I guess, good to be back. I haven't recorded in a while. Um, actually, when I was off screening the last level, it took me like 20 minutes to get in gear back with playing this game because the past the three days before I left for Boy Scout Camp, which is Sleepaway Camp, so you're not going to be bringing electronics. The only game I'd actually played for like the past three days before leaving was Super Paper Mario, which is completely different than this, especially in controls, for those who don't know what the game is. And basically, I didn't have a good time in it at all. I died several times with Mattoad. Uh, the new and good at Super Paper Mario, though, but. Gold Leaf Galaxy, when it rains, it pours. This is going to pretty much emphasize on B Mario losing his abilities when he gets wet. And these are platforms that never appeared back when the galaxy was Honey Hive. So, first thing you gotta do is find a bee shroom. Uh, actually, speaking of Super Paper Mario, um, besides the fact that, uh, yet again, I found another good game that I know to do future LP though. But, I'm probably going to be used to having more than just 3 HP, because Super Paper Mario is basically RPG-style battles, but real-time platform platform. So, I'm used to having like 75 HP and enemies taking away like 8 or whatever at a time. It's gonna probably take a while to get used to only having 3 HP and losing it one at a time. But there is, and not having an item in for you too, I guess. Um, I actually forget what the mushroom is in this game. I guess that was some good sequence breaking. You're supposed to swing up on the trapeze, obviously. I just didn't feel like doing that. So, obviously, you're not going to want to get hit by those clouds and lose your power. Galaxy, where you're going to see Mandibuds for the rest of the game. Alright, you're supposed to get up there by... Um... Even though it's a really easy way to make sure you're landing where you want to land, which I kind of did really badly there. You're 
You're not going to want to ground pound onto the clouds because you will lose your B form. Or rather, go straight through the clouds and inevitably lose your B form from the rain if you ground pound on them. I really don't want to show that, but all right, what do you got to say? Mean Mole took over our observation deck. Don't worry, we're not rematching Major Burrows. This dome has enough for unoriginality as it is. You wouldn't want, uh, like... Yet another recycled boss. Uh, ground pounding does completely renew your flight meter. Immediately, but I can do this. Um. Okay, never mind. I guess just grab pounding onto these trampolines. You are not going to want to lose B Mario. The only B Shroom here is at the bottom of the tower. Um, obviously keep these nooks and crannies here to stay away from the rain. Basically, where it's wet, the rain won't affect you. And the resulting boss of this mission, which is the mean more which took over their observation deck. Oh uh, yeah, like we don't really need to be told to go up. I mean, like, like we really need to be told to go up. The boss is going to be made a lot easier by being able to fly. And this is clearly not Major Burrows. This is the Undergrunt Gunner. Basically, he's an Undergrunt who has a gun. Alright, starting off the fight with the Undergrunt Gunner, I don't have any concept art, so you're just going to probably see blank screen there. Black, whatever. Something random I'm going to put up on, probably something stupid, but that's beside the point, because most of the things I do are stupid. Alright, so this is the Undergrunt Gunner with a water cannon. So, he's going to shoot water at you, as opposed to the other one, other type, which will not get its own bio, but just me explaining the differences between it and this kind on screen. So, all you really need to do is get above it, ground pound the cockpit, where he's sitting three times, and he'll explode. B Mario is good for this because you can fly over him. If he shoots water at you, you'll get caught in the drop and fly until either you shake enough or hit something. He is physically unable to hurt you. He can only knock you into the spikes. So if you get hit, try to get yourself out of the bubble over a platform. There are... Um... Two types of underground gunners. There's this guy who shoots the water. And you'll see the other kind when we fight it in the next galaxy, the dome. Um, basically, keep doing that. Um, you don't want to lose your beat form, clearly. Uh, those spikes will obviously hurt you. That's the only effect of getting hit by one of those water attacks besides losing B Mario, but the only way he can actually hurt you is by making you walk into the spikes, so he's not very difficult. The other type of undergrunt gunner uh, will actually hurt you with his regular uh, shooting attacks. Uh, rain 
glad it keeps going around for some reason. So, there's your star. Nothing too spectacular. But, I mean... I'm not going to clearly just go around completing missions willy-nilly, doing all the hard stuff, while still getting readjusted to playing the game. And I don't know if you can see it on the recording, but there is a very annoying fly right around my TV screen. He's about where my pointer is. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's Honey Hive's purple coin mission now. Or one of the ones in the other go. I could have just talked to Polari, but I hate him. Alright, it's Honey Hive. Uh, this is gonna be one of those speeding up ones, I believe. Trying to get four stars done, part. You'll see that I'll be able to get a lot more stars done when we start doing the time purple coin missions. And this is the Honey Hives Purple Coins. You wouldn't think it would be named something like that. As you can see, these purple coins are scattered a lot more widespread than they were in Good Egg Galaxy. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes.
can die in the second level! Okay, that was only funny the first time. I'm gonna stop recording this. You're gonna... It's pretty obvious where the last three coins are. I was actually wandering around having missed a coin for a while there. Um, it was the one that I showed you before. I just didn't notice it was there. So, come on, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. End off this star bad omen for... Really bad omen for things to come. I was gonna do the Indiana Mario joke again, but it didn't work out very well. Almost died again after getting the star. Okay. And... Now I'm actually going to cut to Gold Leaf to do the secret mission because I'm a bit pressed right, for time. So this is mission two, Cataclysm to the Skies. You're going to want to stomp a stomp, as that one B said. And following them will lead you to a bubble device where you can do the bubble mechanic. Ring the bell there, and you can get music notes. That wasn't very good. You're going to want to not run out of time because ringing the bell again will do nothing. That makes star bits appear leading to one up. Good. Alright, if you actually run out of time, it's kind of funny. The notes will never appear again, and you'll actually have to go back to and restart the mission. So, next time, we will do yet another Purple Comet. So, I'm Leader Luxnape, and until then, I am signing off.